Well, guys, a lot of you pointed out that I've skipped over one of the pick sets in the Sparrows line, and this is it. Finally got around to it. Enough of you got tired of that piece of the puzzle missing right out of the middle of the picture. This is Sparrows Spirit Kit. Pretty cool little kit. Uh, this is the first one that I've seen. Just came in the mail uh, yesterday. $39 Canadian, which works out to $29.16 US. So I'm going to, in a minute, let's go ahead and pull all these out and take a closer look at each of these picks one at a time. Before we do that, though, I'd like to do the March giveaway. So for the March giveaway, I have another one of these uh, LearnLockPicking.com's Ultimate Adversary Locks. You guys know it's a Schlage Keyway. It is a seven pinner, so you can go from beginner all the way to advanced on these things. Uh, pretty cool. I, I've been using one of these myself for years. Of course, it comes with all the plugs to put in there. It's not keyed right now. It does actually come with a key. So if you want to key it, there's uh, there are the pins to, for the proper pinning for those keys. As your skills progress, you're probably going to want to get away from those standard pins. You're going to want to move to this huge bag. There's hundreds of pins in here as well as like four lifetimes worth of replacement springs. So if they pop out across the room, you can put them back. Inside of here are everything from uh, spools to mushrooms to serrated. So all the way from beginner to advanced, all in one kit. I'm also going to give away this American Key Supply mat, which was donated by them. And the winner of the March giveaway is Bill Helm. Bill, I'm going to send you an email. If you will reply, I'll put all this in the mail to you. Congratulations. All right, let's take a look at this spirit. Give me a second. Let's bust it open and lay everything out. Well guys, you've seen this case before. It's the standard tuxedo case. Uh, I've been carrying one in my pocket for about two years. It just has minor fraying. So pretty durable, made out of ballistic nylon. Two pockets, one for the tension wrench goes here and then your picks all fit up in the top there. Secures with, with uh, Velcro. Pretty thin, even with all these picks in there, it's not much thicker than what you see here. Just uh, holds them in and protects them. Um, this is almost the same as the tuxedo. All they've done is replace, uh, they took out the snake and the half diamond and they gave you two additional hooks. So it looks to me as if you have one of every hook that Sparrows produces and then they threw in the same two uh, rakes. Uh, let me go over them a little bit because there's some minor differences in some of these hooks. First of all, they're all made out of 24,000 stainless steel, which is 0.61 millimeters thick, so pretty durable. Um, this is the short hook, so pretty nice. And if you look at the edges of these, unlike some other Sparrows products, these look like they've spent quite a bit of time in the tumbler. And when I ordered these, of course, I didn't order them. They didn't know who I was, so they wouldn't have prepared them, I don't believe. But pretty nicely done. I still would put a little bit of time into sanding on these, but not nearly as much as some of those earlier kits. So that's the standard hook. They also give you something called the shallow Euro hook. Now this one looks almost the same. You notice that it has a sharper point and there's a little bit of a dip near the end right there. But I was curious. I've never held two of these up side by side before to kind of do a comparison. So let me see if I can get the camera to cooperate. And I'll try to get it to focus. If you take a look, you can see that the the euro, the shallow euro hook is the one that's in the front. It has just a little dip right before the tip, and of course the tip is much finer than the short hook. So it might let you reach up in paracentric keyways just a little bit deeper because it's a little bit skinnier or narrower to get up inside of there. So I can see a use for that, particularly if you're going to be picking on paracentric or European locks. The next one you get is the steep hook. You guys have seen these before, and I'll be honest, I what I normally do is take the steep hook and remove a little bit of that to turn it into a excellent medium hook. I really like the angle. It's almost 90 degrees on the end, but I find that the steep hook itself sometimes is a little bit too large to fit into some keyways. But if you got a wide open keyway, this will fit in there. This is a good a good pick. One with a little bit less of a hook to it is this one. This is called the high reach. And again, I'm going to try to get the camera to cooperate to focus, but in the tip of the high reach, it's not as quite as deep as the uh, as the steep hook. But in the end of it, it's flat and it has a little bit of a cutout. So you can kind of position that perfectly on the center of the, of the pointy part of the pin so you know exactly where you are. It's useful when you're kind of feeling around learning locks and so that'd be a good use for that one. Um, the two most popular rakes. 
You guys know this, they call this the triple peak. We call it a Bogota. Again, very nicely done. You can see the tips are well-rounded, telling me that this thing has been spending, spent some pretty serious time in the tumbler. And then we get a city rake. If you like to uh, rock, use these to rock open uh, master locks, that's really what I use them for. I put it in there and kind of rock it up and down. Works great. Very nicely shaped. And again, nicely rounded. I don't think you'd have to do too much to this. This is really almost ready to go out of the box. I don't know if they've updated their tumbling process, but I'm pretty impressed with the finish on these. Uh, you get two sets of tensioners. You get the L-shaped with a twist, and then you get the Z-shaped. You get the standard three thicknesses, for those of you guys who never heard this before. The thick one, which is on the left here, let me zoom in just a little bit so you can d differentiate a little. The one on the left there is 0.13 inches, which is 3.25 millimeters. The medium thicknesses is 0.11 inches which is 2.75 millimeters. And then the thin one on the far right is 0 0.09 inches, which is 2.4 millimeter. The Z style tension wrenches are exactly the same thicknesses, except obviously a different shape. All this for basically $29.16, which is almost identical to the, uh, uh, to the tuxedo kit. Um, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with both this and the tuxedo kit. If you like more rakes, you might want to go with the tuxedo. If you are a pref if you prefer hooks and SPPing, the spirit kit would be a pretty good choice for that. Anyway, guys, there you go, the spirit kit. If you'd like to win this, let me move this out of the way. There's the website. Go to the website, register, and it's free, and maybe we can figure out who's gonna win this next Saturday. All right, guys, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal.